you can see here that that's the batteries. So a battery in an e-bike, e-scooter, there's several little batteries that make up part of the battery. You may be able to see them. Some of them are still off gassing. We've had a failure there that's cooked off and started the jet reaction or what we call the thermal runaway, the breakdown and started to heat up. Fortunately, if this was let to burn continuously, this would have taken off, accelerated quickly and we would have had a fire in this whole shop with then potential to spread. Okay, so what we'll do, the batteries are still heating up and they can do this and will do this. So we'll submerge this in water, monitor the temperature using the thermal image cameras that we carry on our fire truck until we're confident that there's gonna be no further uh, heating up. So we just put it back in the water. This is a, a an example of how quickly these fires can take hold. This battery did have a problem. Everyone knew it had a problem. That's why it's in for service. Was put on charge for 15 minutes and this is the result. So when you've got faults at home, make sure you get them in for servicing and checking. So take care with your lithium ion battery devices. They're great convenience, but they do have some risks around them, especially in the e-bikes and the e-scooters. We are seeing more and more of these fires in the community. So take care and always get them serviced. Buy from reputable retailers and always buy good products. And always at home have a working smoke alarm and don't charge them and leave them unattended.